Hi, welcome to Linda's TV show. If it is your first time of stopping by, you are highly welcome. Please, I beg you for this favor, click on that red button that says subscribe and beside it is a notification bell. Turn the bell on, it's very, very important as it enables you to know when I upload a new video so that you will be the first person to check it out. I bring to you information about the globe, especially Nigeria to be precise. Let Everybody us hear me? You can hear it, you can video it on your phone because I am seeing a great danger coming to Nigeria. I am seeing a great danger coming to Nigeria. You can put it on your phone. You can put it on your phone. You can spread the news. I'm seeing a great danger. And I'm a hundred. I'm seeing a great danger. I'm seeing darkness. I'm seeing darkness. Something danger is coming. Don't say that everywhere is calm. There is no calm in anywhere. There is no calm in anywhere. Nigeria, wake up. Wake up. Mm -hmm. There is a danger. The disappearing of this man. The disappearing of this man. <laughs> uh, I'm seeing the returning back. <laughs> I'm seeing danger. It's not end. Has he returning back of an a dangerous preparation? I am seeing a fire horse. A fire horse with an angry spirit. I've seen a great danger coming on this country. And I see <laughs> it is too dangerous what I'm looking at. The returning back of a Nand Karo. I see a great danger. Nigeria and seen a great darkness. Only God know what he will do here. Don't say there is a calm anywhere. There is no calm. There is a rising of action in a full force. Nigeria, I am speaking to you to know what to do. I'm seeing a fire horse coming to bring his vision to Hmm. 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 
Let's lift up our hands to the Lord Almighty. The creature of heaven and earth. The I am that I am. I sense everywhere shaking. I'm seeing everywhere shaking. If it's quiet, it's not silent. If it's silent, it's not quiet. Lift up your hands to the Lord God. <laughs> Thank you, the Holy Spirit. Thank you, the Holy Spirit. Lift your hands to Jesus. When a man raised a doors and kept quiet, <laughs> it's not yet done. I pray for you. May the Lord Jesus guide you. May the Lord Jesus protect you. In the name of Jesus. Evil shall not destroy you. In the name of Jesus. May God protect you in the name of Jesus. I think the, the first time uh, was when I was in, inside Biafra, uh, which you'd have to be now rather long in the tooth to remember the Nigerian Civil War, and also, of course, the Nigeria Biafra War, but I was inside Biafra, and I was approached in London by a man who later became a good friend, uh, who said, look, we, we have a problem. Um, we don't have any man in any source, in on the ground, inside the uh, encircled enclave. Um, so, uh, you know, would you help us out? Just, just tell us what's going on inside there. So I said, well, okay, okay, so... But I did for the last year of the Biafran War. I was sending reports, both journalistic reports to the media um, and other reports to uh, my new friend, uh, telling him just actually all they wanted to know was the true level of the horror that was going on in there, uh, the, the thousands and thousands of dying children. I felt that was pretty controversial, but not about security, not the security of our country anyway. So I saw no harm in uh, contributing. But as you say, you were a, a, a correspondent then. I am old enough to remember that, and a, and a, and a good one. Um, but so there were some things that you weren't putting in a newspaper, but you were telling the security people. Yes, but, but basically what the security system wanted to know, apparently, was, um, is it true? Uh, because the Foreign Office was denying that there were any dying children, um, and they were passionate in supporting the dictatorship in Lagos, um, and it was oddly enough uh, MI6 that uh, had a different viewpoint. Um, and the question then at the, at the head of government uh, conferences and, and, and COBRA committee meetings was, should we in fact continue supporting the, the Nigerian dictatorship in its uh, slaughter of its own people, or should we not? Should we discontinue and urge a, a ceasefire? Uh, and there was a difference of opinion, quite a few differences of opinion. There two ministers resigned over it. Mr. Thompson and Mr. Thomas both resigned. So this was a government that was split. Uh, I was very firmly on the side of uh, uh, the advisability of a ceasefire and a peace conference to end this horror. Um, and I saw no harm, therefore, in, in confirming that the worst fears uh, of what was going on inside Biafra were absolutely true. The children were dying like flies, eventually. Estimate, not by me, by relief organizations like the International Committee of the Red Cross, 
was that one million children died in there. And uh, I was in the heart of it. And that was your first foray. Then you went on to do things in uh, undercover in East Germany and in Rhodesia. I mean, you were getting to be sort of not a full time agent, but a but a proper agent. Were you paid for any of this? No, of course not. Of course not. No, it, back then uh, it was a, diff a different uh, sort of. I think probably a different attitude. Uh, the spirit of the age, as the Germans call it, the zeitgeist was different. The Cold War was very much on. Um, our enemy was the USSR, uh, specifically the Politburo and the KGB. Uh, they were dangerous to us. Uh, they threatened us. And so if you were asked, look, hey, uh, can you possibly see your way clear to do us a favor? Uh, it was very hard to say Always no. watching Linda's TV show. I will see you again in my next video. Remain blessed. I appreciate each and every one of you. And keep on watching Linda's TV show. If you have not yet subscribed, please, I beg you to do that so that you'll be getting more updates from me. Bye-bye.